Okay guys, so we're here at the farm today and we're about to head out on our long trip across the United States. By the way, this is Tennessee Trucker. We just bought this Tesla right here, model rear wheel, rear wheel model three back in uh, February of 2023. And uh, I've got about 8,866 8, miles on this car already. Everybody keeps wondering, how do you get charged? How do you go on road trips and whatnot? Well, it just so happens I planned a trip from Sparta, Tennessee here at the farm. We're gonna go out to uh, Denver, Colorado, pick up my brother and his wife, head on out to Moab, Utah, do a little off-roading out there, then head up to Washington State and uh, go to my nephew's ordination. He's becoming a priest. And then uh, I'm gonna drop my brother and his wife off at the airport in Seattle, Washington. And then I'm just gonna take my time and go on down the West Coast and mosey on back here to Tennessee. Uh, so I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. We're gonna stop and show you a little video at each uh, charging station. It's a beautiful day here in Tennessee. It's the 16th of uh, May. And we're about to head out. Like I said, the car's already got about 8,866 miles on it in just over three months. So as a long haul trucker, I'm gonna put this car through the paces and see what it can do and drive it across the country. So come on, let's go on for the ride. Okay, we're here at our first stop in Catawba, Kentucky on this trip. And as you can see right here, I got the screen pulled up. It's trip B. We've done 202 miles so far, and we've used 43 kilowatts, or averaged out to 212 watt hours per mile. And as you can see right up here, we still have 64 miles of range. Now the rated range on this car is 267 miles. So uh, let's see, 64 plus 202, that's 266 miles all together if we kept on going. So we are getting r just one mile under rated range for this car right now. It is a warm day, it's uh, 76 out. It's been in the l actually low 80s, it's starting to cool down now. It's almost, uh, well, you can see right there at 6.55 p.m. So we're gonna plug up here at the supercharger, Catawba, Kentucky. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see where we are. We'll see how long it's taking to charge. Okay, I'm back at the car now. I walked uh, just, there's actually a <clears throat> two restaurants right here, close by one right next door, Southwest Grill, and then there's a Wendy's just right across from uh, that. So I got hungry and just thought I'd go and get me something to eat. Actually, I felt like I was rushed going in, order my meal, sitting down and eating it really quickly and then going and use the bathroom before I came back to the car. And as you can see, it's now 718. So that's what 18 and five, 23 minutes later. And we've gotten up to 212 miles of range now. And the car is saying that uh, we have enough uh, energy to continue our trip. So our next stop is gonna be Mount Vernon. We're gonna stop this right now. We're gonna go to uh, charging and we're going to Stop charging right now. And right now we got 214 miles of range. So that's how much it took us, uh, what, uh, 24 minutes to put uh, that much range on the car. So let's get out, let's uh, unplug, and let's uh, get on the road and go to Mount Vernon. Okay, we have now made it to Mount Vernon, Illinois at the supercharger. Uh, we got uh, still 65 miles of range left on the car. I actually screwed up a little bit. I was talking to my sister while I was driving down the interstate and I missed my exit. So I actually drove about eight to 10 miles out of route. I drove about four or five miles past the supercharger before I could turn around and come back. Uh, believe it or not, I actually had enough range to get to my hotel tonight over in Caseville, Illinois. But it would have been a little tight. I would only had about 15, 20 miles of range left on the vehicle when I got there, and I didn't want to push it that much. So I did turn around and come back to the supercharger. And I can show you here on the, uh, the screen. Okay, so we're starting to charge now at 943. You can see it's ramping up to 99 over 100 kilowatts. I believe this is a 250 kilowatt charging station. 
Although I've noticed that this LFP battery doesn't go up to 250. We're getting pretty good right here right now at 142 kilowatts. Uh, so it's throwing the juice to it at the moment. We're already up two mile range in less than a minute. So uh, we're just gonna sit here and see how long it takes. Uh, okay, so now we've got four miles of range. I'm gonna go see if I can find some place to pee and then come back and see where we are. All right, so now I went inside and uh, used the bathroom. And I'm back at the car, and you can see it is now 9.55, and we're already up to 168 miles of range. So it's put 100 and, what was that, about 103 miles of range. It's put on it in roughly, uh, what was that, 12 minutes or so. Uh, it does say that we have enough range to complete our trip. Uh, I'm not... Honestly, I'm not concerned at this point. I think I'm only 69 miles to the hotel, and now I have 170 miles of range. So I've got plenty of range to uh, get to my room tonight and then get to the next uh, supercharger tomorrow over in uh, near St. Louis. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to pull up the screen, and I'm going to, you can see there, I spent $11.71 and some change. Uh, a little over 100 miles of range on the car. I'm gonna hit stop charge. And I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna get going again. Okay, so we're here at the hotel and uh, we got here last night about 11 o'clock. I left the house, I guess around 3.30 or so. It was an easy trip over here to Caseyville, just outside of St. Louis. Uh, I still had 101 miles of range on the car when we got here at the hotel last night. Car ran beautifully. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, I just have the autopilot. I don't have the enhanced or the full self-driving, but even with just the regular autopilot, car was very comfortable to drive, and uh, it was just a pleasure. So today we're gonna head on over to St. Louis and go tour the Arch, and then from there we're gonna head on out to Salina, Kansas. So our next uh, energy stop will be, our supercharger stop will be over in, somewhere in St. Louis, I suppose. So uh, let's get on going. And here we are standing at the base of the arch. Let's see how many steps this is. This is 59 steps. The road right down there by the river up to the main level here. And the courthouse out there in the distance. And that's the arch. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so we got to get on to Kansas tonight. Uh, Slide to Kansas. So we're, first we're going to stop at Supercharger here in St. Louis. Take on a little energy and then uh, ski down a little west of here. So we're just beginning our journey westward. And so I'll catch you in the next video.